Hey everybody, it's Jay-Z. Uh, it's a nice uh, Friday afternoon. Uh, we're gonna get the old country lit up. Uh, we're gonna be doing a Cornish hens, smoked mac and cheese, and some uh, smoked Canucka sausage for dinner tonight. We're gonna be uh, cooking uh, over a uh, uh, post oak. And we'll be using the uh, cowboy brand uh, lump charcoal. Let's get her lit and go back inside. Here's what we're looking at smoking tonight. We got four Cornish hens, each one about a pound and a half. Uh, these are really nice smoked. We're looking at doing uh, salt, pepper, uh, cayenne, paprika, a little bit of garlic powder. Um, that, I think that's about all it needs. I'll post the, uh, the ratios uh, in the link or in the description below. And then we have our tried and true hometown hero, Kanaka sausage, absolute fantastic stuff. And our mac and cheese, we'll be making, uh, making a basic roux. Uh, uh, and uh, we'll be using uh, three different cheeses, uh, cheddar, uh, provolone, and uh, gruyere, uh, believe it or not. Uh, we'll be topping it with uh, panko breadcrumbs, and we'll be throwing everything in at the same exact time. Uh, so in the meantime, I'm going to get these uh, cleaned up. Uh, I'm going to get them trimmed up if needed. I'm going to pour myself some Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Great stuff. All right, here's what we got going on. We got about seven to eight ounces of a Gruyere. You want something that's a little pungy but not overpowering. Uh, you want it on the mild side, uh, not too heavy. Uh, the stinkier it is, uh, it, it's, it turns out pretty well, uh, but you don't want it to be uh, too overpowering. Uh, sometimes it'll really conflict with uh, that smoked profile. We have about eight ounces of aged white cheddar. I believe it to be about a three-year-old white cheddar. Uh, it melts incredibly well, does amazing things. I like it a lot. And then we also have about six ounces of uh, provolone. Uh, I believe this provolone has about a one and a half years of age on it. Picked all three of these up at Publix. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the, uh, the brand on them, but it is my go-to combination. As you can see with that approximate seven ounces of Gruyere, so uh, I do cut off the, the rinds. Uh, we have about five cups in total of cheese. Uh, let's get that root going, mix it up, throw everything on. All right. Let's throw these on. Usually use the uh, panko breadcrumbs. Uh, ran out of those, but I had some uh, Italian breadcrumbs. So that'll serve as backup. Let's get it on there. It's been about two hours. Let's uh, take a look at them, see what they're looking like. Oh man. Sausage looks wonderful. Mac and cheese looks phenomenal. And these hands. I think I'm going to call it. Uh, let them rest for a few minutes and we'll dig in. All right, well, I got everything uh, resting for a little bit. Just want to talk about the uh, cowboy charcoal. Did absolutely phenomenal. Uh, much less smoke than the briquettes. I think possibly uh, lump charcoal is the way to go with this smoker. Um, it works exceptionally well. Uh, I have zero complaints so far. 
I did get a question about the adapter for the uh, temperature controller. Uh, on the uh, Barbecue uh, Guru website, um, they do have uh, this uh, setup, which includes the one and a half inch adapter with their proprietary uh, CNC adapter uh, for their Pit Viper and uh, Party Q. Uh, it works exceptionally well. I think it's about $40 uh, plus shipping. Uh, I highly recommend it. If you're considering a gravity smoker, it is absolutely necessary. I also found out that uh, there is a, uh, uh, I wouldn't say a recall necessarily on the Party Q, but I expressed an interest in using rechargeable batteries and they explained to me that there was an update mid-production uh, with the uh, battery compartment uh, that does allow for the use of uh, taller terminals or shorter terminals should I say. So I'll be sending that back to them. Uh, I've already received an RMA uh, uh, confirmation. So I probably won't be posting another video uh, for about another week or so, a uh, week and a half until I receive it back. But I just want to thank everybody for watching. If you have any questions regarding the smoker or the temperature controller or any of the other equipment I use, please let me know. And I'm more than happy to answer it or uh, cook something for you, whatever you're interested in. Thanks.